knew I was going to be giving a speech before he even proposed. Because it's, it's the sort of thing where, like, you just know. Like, even before Sabalo knew, he's a little slow. But he's still um, so I guess I'll tell the funny story of how these two met. Which, the, the punchline is, you guys are welcome. Because, um, uh, you know, I, I used to like to go to the bar every now and then. And I remember one night, I uh, sent out a... I invited probably 20 people, and the only two people to show up were these two. <laughs> the funniest part about it was Julie later told me that she was thinking, eh, maybe I won't go, but I feel bad for Peter, because last time he invited me somewhere, I didn't show that either. And I feel like every single time I've hung out with Sabelo, it's been because he feels bad for me. Because <laughs> the, the, the funniest part about it is I invited them to the bar, and they don't really drink. So it was basically, I'm going to drink this beer and eat this pizza, and you guys are going to talk to me. Um, but I remember Bela, Sabela got up to go to the bathroom, and I had a minute with Julie, and I said something to her to the effect of, you know, I kind of looked up to Sabela, and, uh, you know, if I could fix a lot of the things that I find wrong with myself, I'd be a lot more like him. I don't know if it was the alcohol, or if I really felt it, but she bought it, so good. So, you know, you're welcome. <laughs> but both individually and together, you guys have been there for me through a lot of stuff. Sometimes you've told me things that I didn't want to hear. But I needed to. But I needed to. And so, I'll say this. If you guys could be half as good to each other as you've been to me, I mean, you guys are going to have a lifetime of great times together. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.